Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shell Dongsterborn, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we're looking at the latest construction update from Plopsline Japan on the brand new Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster for 2021. We don't have an official name for this as of yet, but construction has moved by thick and fast with loads of track pieces on site. Um, it's it's been a, there's been a lot of updates and i'm going to share so a couple of pictures from the park officially uh sharing all the updates so before we get started guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling youtube video we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and we are past halfway we're halfway to 1 million views or over halfway so please get the views up on the old videos. Let's get some nostalgia binge watching going. Don't forget, you can check the links in the description down below from all my social media accounts. Give them a follow. You can also check out the Google form where you can submit your video ideas. Go in the description for that. And also, you can check out the Clamshell Awards 2020. So by the time you're watching this, the deadline might have passed. But if you're watching this very, very soon after upload, then it means the voting is still open. Uh, so it would be amazing for you guys to please vote for me in the Clamshell Awards. It'd be nice to win Best Established Channel or whatever award you think I deserve. Not Best Newcomer, because I've been going for two years, not one. And that's the rules with that one. Uh, but Best Established Channel or Best Vlogger would be nice. Uh, any, any, any award that you think I deserve or be nominated for, then please get the votes in and for now guys let's get this show on the road and let's have a look at pops under pans latest construction so on your screen now is the first image we'll play the second image as we talk about this coaster but you can see from that first image uh wow just seeing the dark maroon red track pieces look it kind of reminds me of rita i don't know what you think but it kind of reminds me of old rita color comment down below if you agree and uh, the, seeing the white supports go with it, it looks amazing. You can see uh, one of the inversions opposite that turnaround in place. Uh, and if you go to the second image on your screen right now, fan dabby dozy, uh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? In the fog, that was only about nearly 24 hours ago. So that was a, quite a recent image. The first one was like nearly a week ago, well, a few days ago. But you know, overall, I think this is just a wonderful looking coaster. I cannot wait to see this open. Uh, now, for those of you who need a little bit of information about this, I mean, this is an uh, amazing coaster. Uh, now, this has a length of 3,018.4 feet, a height of 108.3 feet, a speed of 55.9 miles per hour, five inversions, a cost of 15 million euros installed by RCS, uh, and it is, of course, opening in 2021. It's the second of these extreme spinning coasters after Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City. And Time Traveler, in fact, is the code name for Pops Under Pan's coaster project. But I cannot wait for this one. There we go. Latest construction on Plops Landed Pan. A lot of sections have gone into place. You know, you've got the, the station area. You've got the, the turnaround into the first JoJo Roll inversion, ready to go into that first launch. Um, you can see in the fog there, some construction pieces up in the distance as well, past all the attractions in the fog. So, you know, it was a nice, it was a nice stylized imagery, piece of imagery from Pops Under Pan. And, you know, overall the project looks amazing. I think that the um, sort of style of what they're going with here, like a nice fluent, slithery construction project, it looks amazing. It gives me nice, slithery, snaky, you know, sly vibes with this project and the way it's set out and the way it's laid out. Um, we know construction is going to keep progressing and keep progressing even more. Uh, we're expecting a summer opening with this, probably a summer opening, not confirmed another way. But I think we're looking at a summer opening here. I think it won't be. I think, if anything, it will be late spring, start of the summer, going into the end of the summer. That's the kind of timeline we're looking at here. And, you know, obviously, we know Time Traveler isn't the official name. It will be just a code name for this. Of course, for, at first, it was Robo Spinner when we first started covering this project. Uh, and then it transitioned quickly into Time Traveler after a concept art the station was revealed. And you, you guys remember that video. Um, but this is definitely a, a project to watch. 100%. Big thank you to all the people that sent me construction updates on this ride. And I cannot believe that how how quick this project's going. You saw the earlier update from Wolbe Belgium. That project's gone quick. This has gone a lot quicker than that. Um, and it's still under construction now. So, you know, it feels like time has flown by with both projects. And these are the two big from scratch projects for next year in Europe. Um, 
So it's a big one. It's absolutely a big one. But thank you very, very much, guys, for watching this construction update on Plops on Japan's brand new Extreme Spinning Coaster. Stay tuned for more videos over the next couple of weeks as we get into the festive period. Don't forget, December the 1st, we start Vlogmas. These are the special Christmas type intros. We'll be playing the Christmas intro all the way through December. And uh, I cannot wait to show you guys the finished product. So thank you very much, guys. For watching this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, get in the description down below now and head to your Google form link where you can submit your video ideas. Clamshell Awards 2020 vote still open as of recording this, so please, 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 please get the votes in. It'd be it mean a lot to me to win an award at the end of this year. And uh, for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day. Bye.